Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and um, of course we get questions regularly about the next version of Windows 10, the May 2019 update, and I wanted to of course answer some more questions that we've got from viewers. The question I got the most in the past week was when is it coming out? Well, we don't have a date yet, but we do know one thing and um, many hints around the um, end of the month of May. Many times in some of the blog posts they were mentioning end of May. So that means in the next couple of weeks, you know, we are May the 9th today. And uh, it's going to be Patch Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, May 14th. And I think that, you know, like a week after that and what let's say past May 20th might be the time when uh, all of this is released uh, a couple of you have said well there's gonna be in June now no it's not it's gonna be in May uh, and the testing is going actually very well and kinda of telling us that yeah it's gonna be in May the um, other question I've been getting from some people saying well I heard that from a lot of people that the reason it's taking a lot of time is that it's as buggy as the October 2018 update. Um, no, it's not. It's From the beginning, it's been a pretty good update. But there are a few little things that have shown or have actually shown up in the testing phase. So there's a couple of things that they did see in the testing phase that, uh, of course, that's why they're testing it. That's why they're taking their times. Uh, you know, a lot of people have been mentioning, oh, well, it takes so long that they must be really buggy and having tons of problems. It's not the case. It seems to be a pretty good update and a very, uh, I think it's going to roll out very well. And the reason why they're taking their time is not to repeat the errors of the October 2018 update and the April 2018 update. That, let's face it, were kind of a mess in their release. So... If we can get a good start with the May 2019 update, you know what? I think it's going to help out. It's going to help out also because as we're moving along, and I'll have a video about this today, you know, Windows 7 is in its last year of support for regular users. And, um, you know, we're going to talk about it because I get a lot of people saying, well, you know, I just don't know what to do and we'll kind of, you know, update the situation of, of you know what what's going to happen what does it mean and what can you do uh, simply and uh, we'll of course talk about that in a separate video another video says uh, another video on many users I don't know where you guys get your information sometimes but um, you know uh, you got to be careful there's a lot of fake information out there um, a lot of people saying, well, you know, this is apparently the first update that's going to be, uh, you're going to have to pay for it. No, you don't. My, the Windows 10 operating system is free. If you already have it, the updates are free. They're going to stay free. There's n absolutely, absolutely zero incentive at Microsoft for uh, charging users for updates. Um, where uh, some of you have gotten that information is because you're reading on the enterprise side of things that's not new by the way on the enterprise version of Windows it's always been a paid product they always paid for Windows it hasn't changed it hasn't changed since Windows 95 it's always been a paid update and upgrade for enterprise that's it it's the way it works they're on a different uh, type of you know monetization with the enterprise that's actually where all the money Microsoft is making with Windows. It's pretty much all coming from Enterprise. So uh, no, it's staying free. No, uh, there's nothing paid in there. You are getting it free. Uh, question: A few questions that I got for people that are on Windows 7 and meaning to move to Windows 10 and wondering, uh, is the May 2019 update going to be free? Can I get it for free? And here it, it depends, okay? It depends on a few things. So if you got no computer or you got a computer running uh, Windows, you know, an, an earlier version of Windows, 
if you don't have a key, a product key of Windows 7 or 8 that is valid, there's no free version of Windows 10 for you. Okay, Windows 10 is not free. You got to pay for it. Now, there's a loophole that apparently, as of you know, just a few weeks ago, the last time that I've actually heard somebody talk about it, if you have on your PC a valid Windows 7 or Windows 8 product key, so you know that's the letters and numbers like you know uh, uh, B7, uh, CQ4, uh, and so on. It's a, I believe it's 24 characters, 25 characters long, something like that. And uh, it's 25, I believe, characters long, uh, something like that. It, um, if you got one, it there's a good chance that it's going to work for you to upgrade to Windows 10 for free. And the way it works is when you upgrade to Windows 10 using the media creation tool, for example, or a um, you know a ISO or anything, you enter the product key that you've got in there, the one for Windows 7 or Windows 8, and it technically should work. Now there's a kind of a unknown that's kind of weird here, and it has to do with uh, OEM keys versus official Windows keys. So what's the difference? So there are two types of Windows keys that are available. There's the consumer type Windows key that comes with a Windows um, when you purchase Windows. So say you go out and and you go on you know to the Microsoft website and purchase Windows 10. You get a product key with it. That product key we know works works for upgrading Windows 7, Windows 8. So if you got a Windows 7 that you purchased, or if you got a Windows 8 that you purchased, yes, that key works. And that we're sure. Where it doesn't get as official and as sure about is OEM keys. Now, an OEM key it means that, say you bought a laptop that had Windows 7 on it. You might have a product key on the bottom side of the laptop, a little sticker with the product key on it. That's a OEM key. It's a original equipment manufacturer key that was given to you, this is, it's the key of your Windows, but it's actually a key that's provided for a version of Windows that was made to be in a manufacturing laptop. So Dell and Toshiba get these volume licenses that we call, where they actually use them to activate Windows on the computers they sell. So I get a mixed bag on that. Some say that that key works, others say that that key doesn't work. Um, I guess you'll have to try it. That's the only way you'll know if it actually works or not to upgrade. If it does let you go through an upgrade, you should have a free Windows upgrade. But if you enter it and it says it's not a valid key, that means that that key doesn't work for that. Another question about the size of Windows 10 on the download. How big will this be? Uh, because a lot of you are on metered connections. They, you have a limit of bandwidth every month of amount of internet access you can actually use and download. So the um, download, if you download, like you upgrade from within Windows or use the media creation tool and uh, upgrade from there, uh, roughly around four gigabytes, and if you download the image, uh, about four, four point two, four point three gigabytes, maybe a little less in some cases. And it, yes, it does fit on the DVD. Somebody was telling me the other day that it doesn't fit on the DVD. Yes, it does. Uh, it depends where you're getting your version of Windows. If you're getting it illegally from some weird or obscure website, it's actually telling you that it's been bundled with tons of things that wasn't included within Windows. That's why it doesn't fit the DVD anymore. Because it does fit the DVD. It still does. And uh, as for my own opinion, because some people have asked my own opinion of, you know, have I used it? Yeah, I'm using it every day. I'm making videos with it every day. And uh, I've got no issues at all. No problems at all. It's working well. It's very stable. I'm actually very happy to have moved on to the May 2019 update. So uh, 
that is um, you know my take on it it's a great great operating system and uh, probably better than what we had in 2018 in terms of quality for an update so uh, don't be scared to update and yes once again because a lot of people are skeptical yes it will be in a separate download section you will have it that you manually download and install it when you want to do it it won't force update on you unless you're at the end of an 18 month cycle of windows 10 feature updates so i uh, get your com you know questions coming in if you have other questions well uh, of course from time to time do uh, these uh, little updated videos to let you know what's happening and uh, hope that you enjoy these videos if you enjoy please subscribe give us thumbs up and thank you for watching